to make a very simple timer. Uh, timers can be used to um, basically offset certain things from happening at a later time uh, using uh, real seconds or just regular game ticks. I'll be showing how to set up a timer to on a global session to basically test uh, for um, calculate basically real life seconds and stuff like that so you can do things like um, every 60 seconds do something. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do is open up uh, a new procedure. So we're not actually not going to be linking this to anything. So I'm just going to call it timers and we're going to play around with the procedures just a little bit. Actually before we start I'm just going to set this to on world tick update. We're going to need that later. I'm just going to save it. We need to open up a global variable. Uh, make sure that it's on a global session. In the future, we'll be able to do um, global world or global map of the same system. But right now, in 1.9.0, uh, we're going to need to use global session for this. Uh, we're also going to need a number. I'm just going to call it uh, and then we're going to go or uh, time sec so we can just call it time sec and then we'll set it to save uh, we want it to be on zero and then we're also going to make time min and we want it on number and session as well. Okay, so once we got that, we can go back over to our procedure for timers. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to custom variables, go to set global variable. We're going to now go to math operators. We're going to drop that down. And then what we want to do is grab the get global variable second and we're working on seconds right now so and then we're going to add additional 0 0.05 so that will exactly time out for five or for one second and what it's going to do is it's going to every world uh, tick which is roughly whatever percent that is so 0 0.05 of a second, um, it's going to, so every second it's going to go, okay, update one timer global variable, and it's just going to keep adding on to it. So now that we have that set up, what we can do is we can uh, determine uh, when we want to, say, make a larger um, like a round off a number or something like that we can actually go and go to custom variables again we can use get uh, seconds and then we can set that to 60 so when it reaches 60 so 60 seconds uh, what we want to do is we want to set this to 0 and we want to set, actually we can probably just um, clone this over. So we can change this to min and we can change this to min and then we'll set it plus one. So every time that it goes from our seconds go to 60 seconds, it's going to over uh, reset the timer to zero for seconds, and then it's going to add one for the minutes. And we can also add another catch down below this, and what we can do is instead of targeting seconds, what we can do is target minutes, and then when this reaches 60 minutes, uh, what we can do is set minutes to zero and uh, if we had another like an hour 
setting, we could set that to um, uh, for an hour and just continue the process. But uh, for the for the basic tutorial, that's how you set up a um, a timer. So I'm just going to quickly create a GUI so you guys can see what's going on with this, and um, I'll do a quick uh, hopping game and then I'll show you what's going on. So one thing that I forgot to do was these were both on equals. So this would probably not make it work. Uh, what you want to do is go and set this to equal or greater than. And what this will do is it will basically say is it equal to 60 or um, greater than 60 and then it will carry over. Um, I did run into a problem when testing where it will actually not carry over because it doesn't always round in the time that it takes to update to uh, 60 so uh, it might pass 60 without it being exactly 60 so uh, just the heads up on that make sure it's uh, this symbol here with the underscore for the greater sign and that will basically say uh, is time minute greater than or equal to 60 and then we'll carry it on or seconds so once we do that we can hop in game now all right, so we're now in game and we're testing the variable time second. As you can see, it's counting up. Uh, there is a small, um, well, a larger number attached to this. We could technically round it, but it's not always um, a very consistent uh, timer when it comes down to rounding it evenly. Sometimes it speeds up a little bit faster than normal it's just because the number is changing constantly as you can see it's already on nine 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 blah 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 so um, when it changes like that it will update but when this actually reaches 60 we should get one time minute so it'll take one minute right now and then it resets and then you can carry on now if you're going to link uh, this to do something, all you would need to do is tap into that variable, for example, minutes or um, seconds. Um, in 1.9.1, you'll be able to use uh, variables for, um, for worlds or maps. Uh, worlds are, I believe, for the actual uh, dimension that you're in where maps are like the entire save and that will be able to store the data as well so you'll be able to carry on but right now uh, we're just going to be able to work on global session just because uh, it's what we're working on for this version um, now if you wanted to pass on the variable say you were testing another procedure we'll just create a dummy procedure here um, We'll call it text. Okay, maybe not. Um, I don't know why we can't use word text. Uh, demo pro. Okay. So if you're wanting to pass on the, um, say this, is, pretend this is a block procedure on, say, uh, update tick or something like that. Uh, if we wanted to use the procedure and test for something like um, if it's uh, the seconds have reached to say uh, over 50 seconds so what we could do is we could add a operator like this we can go equal or greater than we can go and tap into our second variable and then we can set what number we want for it to be over. So if it's under, it's over, let's say 30 seconds, then we could run something like um, print message to player. Um, uh, we'll say hello world. And we don't want it to show in the action bar, although it'd probably be better for this case because it's going to spam like crazy. Uh, so we'll just say that and we'll save. Uh, but say it's the, on a block update tick. So if we're using it for a block update tick, we would not need to set the additional trigger. But since we're not using it for a block update tick right now, we'll just set it to world update tick. So. Um, 
player tick actually would probably be better because we can use the entity and world as well. So we'll set that. We'll hop back in game and then we'll test this. Okay, so currently uh, we're at 10 seconds, so one or 12 seconds now. Uh, so when this reaches over 30 seconds, what it will do is it'll kick in that extra procedure and it'll just start uh, spamming down on the hotbar uh, right down here, uh, hello world. So it shouldn't be too much longer, see? Uh, it says hello world. So if the seconds is over uh, 30 seconds, then it'll pop something up like that. You could link this into pretty much any extra procedure as long as it's an update tick uh, to test if the variable is, um, for example, a higher number than your or a lower variable or anything like that. Uh, you can basically target any number you wanted uh, as long as it's greater or equal to. If it's uh, the hour hand uh, or the, the minute hand, then what we could do is we could target a solid number rather than a equal or greater than number. Uh, so you could actually pass on um, things like the minute hand. So this variable, we could actually test if it's uh, minute hand right now and if it's equal or greater than that, then we could um, say do that, or we can also use equal than, or equal to, uh, say one, and then we could off uh, basically print out the text that we want. So hopefully you guys found that helpful. This will hopefully help you with a lot more projects that require uh, more specific timers. And um, outside of that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.